first time he bit me, I was literally in a dead sleep. He bit you in a dead sleep? Yes. I felt like a jolt on the bed, and it sort of woke me up. And just as I was starting to fall back asleep, that's when he came at me the second time. Hey. And then he got me right in the back of the arm. Help. Stop. He would bite me so hard that I would yell. So that's always been kind of a struggle. What's your routine like at night with him? Well, we've we've made barriers. We lock ourselves in the bedroom at night, and then he has a whole nother routine that he goes through. OK, and does he keep trying to get into the bedroom still? I can hear him scratching and... And that's where the banging came in. Yeah. Right, so we got banging and scratching and that kind of thing. But how do you know if he's still doing his thing? When he is spooked, he will shuffle around you. He'll come around once, and that one time we've learned that that's our time to get out. And the second time, what do you mean, get out? To get out of the room, to get out of there. Get Be out. Because the, because the, because the second time he comes around, that's when the claws come out. Wait, let me get this straight. He has a routine when he's getting worked up. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. yep. So it's almost like he's gone into a state, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this cat during the night, so I'm walking around the house looking for potential hotspots. Usually these blinds are open during the evening. He'll shuffle back and forth, and then he'll make that lap. The lap. That we okay. keep talking about. All right. Now, normally, I would suspect that this kind of behavior would be triggered by outside cats, but Jordan and Kristen are assuring me that that's not the case. Whether real or imagined, the enemy is out here. Do you know whether you have feral cats in the neighborhood? Not that I'm aware of, no. OK. So we've walked around outside trying to see the world through Jude's eyes. It's all pretty ordinary. Even if there are no cats outside, maybe there's something else out there that's causing Jude to freak out. What he is experiencing through his eyes at nighttime is a total mystery to me at this point, and a mystery to Kristen and Jordan. It's almost like he's trying to tell you, like, hey, look what's out here, you know? It's like right. he's trying to tell us something. Right, but there have been times where he abandons that target in the window, and you become the target. Yes. Every night? Almost every night, yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of things, but one thing I have never seen is a cat that is absolutely normal during the day and a holy terror at night. Hey, be nice. This is a situation that I've got to figure out before somebody really gets hurt. Hey. First thing that we want to do is actually find out what's going on. I'm going to leave you guys with a couple of motion activated cameras. They also have night vision on them. So what's going to happen is every time he moves, camera starts. The other camera we're going to have is going to be focused outside into your front lawn. Every time there's motion out there, we're going to get it. If there's any cats out there, we're going to figure out how bad the situation is. Surveillance is a really crucial part of this homework. Kristen and Jordan are locked away in their bedroom. Now we're going to see the world through Jude's eyes to see actually what's going on. Next thing we want to do is cats derive a feeling of safety from the concept of hunt, catch, kill, eat. So I want you to run around with him, get that motor going. If we can start guiding him to safe spots that are above your head, then he can actually surveil the area without the threat that he's going to come unglued. When you get him a little worn out, boom, it's meal time. Now here's the last step. I think that Jude needs to be on medication. I mean, I think he needs to be on medication pretty quickly. His actions are thoroughly unpredictable. You are being targeted in a way that is telling me that he feels like his life is in danger. Now, it's always a crapshoot when I tell people that I want their cats on meds. Well, the first vet we saw thought the same thing. They were like, well, we can try certain meds, but they may or may not work. After they don't work, most folks end up putting the cat down. And that's, of course, when we got upset and we're not going to do that. Jordan particularly is resistant to the idea of Jude being on medication. But the thing is, we have this ability to get our cats back to a place where maybe they can tackle their problems with our help. Right now, Jude can't do anything. He's a victim of his own body and his own chemistry, and we can help change that. Something is stuck in him. And I really do believe that it is a form of PTSD, where he's gotten himself into this traumatic loop where he's expecting bad things to happen. And of course, he's dragging you into that loop. I'm really surprised at what I've seen and heard here today about Jude. And I'm just hoping that this homework provides some answers, because these guardians can't take any more of this day and night Jekyll and Hyde behavior. I mean, really, how could anybody? The last time I was here, Jude was highly agitated, even during the daytime. But the cat that I'm seeing today is just super chill. Now, since my last visit, Jordan and Kristen got over their fear of medication and took Jude to the vet. And I'm hoping that the meds are making a huge difference. How are things going? Real good. Yeah, much better. He's taken real good to the medicine. 
Um, Yay. We're not sleeping with the, the bedroom door closed anymore. Us sleeping through a whole night without peering over the covers. And so basically everything. Yeah, yeah. it's all being Everything's made. different. Stuff sounds really exciting. I want to grab your homework. Is this surveillance? Yeah. This is from last month. Oh, right. So this is before he went on meds. Mm -hmm. Watching his body language, he goes from window, now he's peeking in here. He's totally freaked about what he sees. Mm -hmm. Boom, he's here. And then as he's leaving, he checks back again like this. I mean, whatever it was that he saw there, and let's not forget, it could be nothing. Had him at a 10, right? What is he seeing out there? Wow. So I see you in the window. One flash, then another flash. So those are car lights passing through the leaves on the trees. Mm -hmm. I finally get what was driving him crazy. It wasn't cats, it was headlights. And as the headlights go through all of these trees, they create sort of that flashing effect that I think in his state could have been making him nuts. And that's why it only happened at night. I'm glad that it was captured. You guys could not have described it well enough. So having stuff like this is just so invaluable. You have no idea what it feels like to be that cat. Having visual proof of what he's gone through, it stamps itself in your brain. It makes you want to just help this guy more so than ever. This is from a month ago, before Jude went on the medication. And has he had any episodes since then? Nope. Nope. Haven't had any of that? <laughs> Love it, so, man. I've really missed playing with him, because he yeah. was so playful when he was a baby. And then it just turned to like this point where I felt like most of our interactions with him were bad interactions, or me scolding him, or pushing him away. Yeah. So it's been really awesome to have that back every night. Like, I come home, and it's a way for me to de-stress by just playing with him. and. Wow. enjoying time with him. I definitely feel like Jackson did what no one else could do. We've sought help in so many different ways, and this is the first time that we've really received answers. Well, guys, this is all I need to see. Smile on your faces, and I'm going to take off. Thank you so much. Right. It's been my pleasure. You guys have been amazing. Thank you. My pleasure. Right. It's been great, you, dude. Take care. Stay cool, mister. I'm very proud of you, my son. I am so proud of you. Man, I only got one word on this one. Woohoo! That was amazing. These guys got over their fears associated with medication. Coupled with that, they were able to use their play ritual to get Jude's energy working in a positive direction and to reconnect with the cat they used to have to barricade themselves in the bedroom from. But no more.